I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I'm not making money off of YouTube. At least not anymore. But this is affecting everyone. And my dreams of getting money off of YouTube is completely down the drain now that this new change has come. I mean, wow, YouTube. Wow, where do you go to give us the middle finger right there? I mean, congrats, YouTube. You, you, no. <laughs> I was just about to say you hit rock bottom. But that would be an insult. The term hitting rock bottom does not exist in the term of YouTube because there's a way it can get worse. It can always get worse. Like, you think it, it, it can't? Sorry. YouTube will always prove you wrong. But god damn YouTube. You, you really become a, a big pile of freaking crap. And the funny thing is, I'm just one out of the millions of YouTubers who are just suffering. So the things that I'm saying right now are no different from people that, you know, people that are far more popular than I am. Those guys, I'm just saying what, what they're saying. That the new changes on YouTube freaking suck. I want to show you guys this video. This was made about two weeks ago on the YouTube help channel. I want you guys to take a look. I'm not going to show the entire clip. Um, I'm going to show at least the second half of the video. So let's begin. <laughs> This video is the worst! This video is doing great! People are re-uploading it everywhere! This video is doing great! People are re-uploading it everywhere! This video is doing great! People re-uploading it everywhere! Next review video! Why is video doing so great? Reason A. Tiny Sumo Man! Reason B. Scary Monkey Picture! I think this video is crappy! Look at that crappy red guy! He's not even wearing any pants! Crappy? He cannot say that I am crappy! I will take down notification his video! Mario, that's his video! He'll just send you a counter what? notification! Copyright don't work like that! This is not fair! Nope! This is fair use! Copyright has a concept called fair use that allows people to comment on or remix or criticize, criticize your video. Screw fair use. I'm sending him a takedown notification anyway. No, wait. Hey, Fred. I want to take down the video that is making fun of me. Mario, you can't go around censoring people who are commenting on or criticizing your video. Copyright law leaves room for commentary, criticism, parody, and other transformative uses. You can get in a lot of trouble for ignoring that. Wait a minute, what are you doing? This is great stuff! I am putting it in the video! This video is getting amazing! But the video's over. All we gotta do is tell people there are links down there to help them. But what about all that footage we shot? Before this video got all preachy and boring! Ah! <laughs> That was amazing! Mm -hmm. Now let's show the scene where the T-Rex eats the lawyer on the toilet! Uh, from Jurassic Park? We can't show that! You didn't learn anything! Shut up! Kill Jurassic Park! <laughs> this video is no longer available due to the copyright claim by the people who own the footage of the T-Rex eating the lawyer while the lawyer is sitting on the toilet. Now, according to that video, I have every right to criticize that video, uh, or make commentary on that video. I mean, that's according to that video. But if this video does get taken down or if I'm not making a profit, then they're saying fuck you to fair use and, and you know, just make it 
it way, way more difficult to use videos from, I mean, videos from other YouTubers or uh, clips from uh, certain shows or clips from certain music. Uh, I mean, like, like clips from music, like, I don't know, Lady Gaga. Me, if I'm making a video response, then I would actually leave a, you know, a, <clears throat> a link in the description on what video I'm responding to, and a link that also links to uh, videos on YouTube of certain music, if I'm actually using any music at all. But right now, I'm not using any music, aside from my intro. But I'm not using my intro right now. But if you're a YouTuber who makes YouTube poop, YouTube poop music videos, uh, remixes, um, you know, if you make Let's Plays or review mu movies, video, um, not videos, um, music videos, and maybe books, I'm not sure if the copyright, you know, uh, affects books, but... The video that I just showed you was made, again, two weeks ago. It just comes to shove that YouTube just took an entire U-turn because I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they're doing this all of a sudden. Like, they don't listen to our, to our, to what we have to say. I'm, I'm at a loss for learns. I mean, I was kind of surprised that YouTube help on that video. You can check for yourself again. Uh, the video has disabled their ratings and their comments. Hmm, just like a certain other YouTuber who does that. What's her name again? Oh yes, Feminist Frequency. But hell, if Feminist Frequency is also affected by it, I wouldn't really buy, but God damn it all. But still, this is this is invading uh, people's rights. This is you know sticking up the middle finger to people who make um, YouTube videos uh, based on ranting on. Ranting on other YouTubers who make Let's Plays, who make YouTube YouTube poops. I mean, I, I don't make money off of uh, YouTube poops. I make money off of ranting. Uh, I will go back to making YouTube poops as soon as possible. Because, you know, I do miss making YouTube poops. I do make, you know, I do miss making them. I, I had an account named Pooping for Poopers, and... Unfortunately, I can't access that account, but still, I freaking love making YouTube poops, and, you know, I still got a little bit of YouTube poop inside me. But this is going, this has gone far enough, YouTube. This has gone way too far. You really messed up. So here's my suggestion to restore YouTube to its former glory or to improve YouTube. We should contact this guy named Fred Von Lohan. Lo Lohan? That's how you pronounce it? Uh, again, link in the description. We should start sending this guy some messages. Like, I don't know if he has an email address or if he uh, has a Facebook. But just maybe, if we can open this guy's eyes then perhaps he can help us. Just maybe. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? We gotta do something. If we don't start somewhere, we'll never achieve it. And YouTube will continue going down the drain, and eventually, YouTube is going to destroy itself. And I don't want that to happen. I want YouTube to return back to its, four, to its glory days, where it was at its peak, where YouTube wasn't full of freaking crap. So, I figured that me, along with, you know, all of you guys, could send Fred Von Lohman, 
You know, just call him Fred. <sighs> we could send this guy some messages. And who knows? If one of us get the attention of Fred, maybe he could help us restore YouTube. And, you know, maybe improve YouTube a little bit. But uh, even if it doesn't return back to its, you know, golden age, uh, just as long as it does the following, um, one, get rid of freaking Google Plus, and two, uh, allow us to make money off of, you, you know, Let's Play videos and etc. You know, like other YouTubers. I mean, I don't do that pirate shit. I don't do that. You know, I don't upload full clips of an episode of, let's say, My Little Pony or Naruto or freaking Power Rangers. I don't make money off of that. I make money off of ranting. If I use a small clip from any video, uh, it should be okay because it's under fair use. But these guys don't give a crap about fair use. So, Fred, if you're looking at this video right now, I really am hoping that you, along with the rest of YouTube, somehow manage to change it back to its golden age. Or at least get rid of freaking Google+. Plus. So, if I happen to find uh, Fred's email... We can um, send it to him, and hopefully we can make some changes. I would appreciate your support. I don't care on who helps at this moment. I don't care if it's my worst enemies or my best friends. All it matters now is that we need to make a change. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.